Hello everyone, this is your instructor Emil Nicolescu and I'm just gonna go over uh, this week's plan. Um, so if you go into your lesson 5, you're gonna see this. Lecture 5 is about process and paraphrasing. So basically this is another pattern of writing and you know description you know when you describe you when you write a descriptive essay you focus mostly on describing what I uh, try to say carnally meaning using your five sentences so basically it's like writing uh, painting with, with words right um, so this time the pattern uh, we're gonna talk about this process so you can write a whole essay describing how to do something that's basically a process um, and another thing that I want to talk about this week is paraphrasing so paraphrasing so there are different ways paraphrasing is basically used used in college to um, in, to use another person's opinion right so so if you were par paraphrasing me for example about writing you would basically uh, let's say you paraphrase me to uh, to your friend you know you basically you would take my words and then you you convey them into your own words right but with the same meaning right so um, so paraphrasing is just like quoting somebody but that would actually quotation right so when you quote you use quotations right but when you paraphrase you don't use quotations you actually use just prose from yourself right so um, I mean read more about paraphrasing what I'm saying another great source for to read about paraphrase is from writing comments um, dot org so I'm and writing comments is a website that has a lot of very cool information about writing different aspects of writing so this is how they define paraphrasing <clears throat> paraphrasing what is paraphrasing paraphrasing is the act of expressing someone else's ideas and words in your unique writing and style and voice um, when to paraphrase academic writing requires authors to connect information from outside sources to their own ideas in order to establish credibility and produce an effective argument okay so basically uh, paraphrasing something you required in college right um, because you want to establish you you want to have experts support your ideas right so so in college we we're evolving from from high school or whatever right where in college we want to use as much backup information from from the authorities from the authority as, as, as much as possible um, another thing is to remember here is um, you know I'm also would like you to use this essay it's called write like you talk um, so how to find that essay you can find it from the schedule page or you can just simply type Paul Graham um, write like you talk so Paul Graham who is Paul Graham Paul Graham is the founder of this way website it's called Y Combinator so what is Y Combinator Y Combinator is um, it's an organization that helps young people or people uh, create their own startups and so basically if you have a great idea they're gonna fund you right and they're gonna help you how to do this so Paul Graham is one of these Silicon Valley gurus who uh, also happens to write well and he has a website he has a bunch of essays you know like here's a list of the essays and I chose one that relates to you which is write like you talk now and so you're gonna have to read this essay now I'm not saying that 
write exactly like like you talk, right? So some of you I noticed in your essays were adding phrases like, um, anyway, having said that, you know, it's kind of these things that you actually use in conversation. Um, so, you know, take write like you talk a grain of salt. Um, the idea here really is that you, your, your message has to be simple as if you're explaining something to your friend, right? But it still has to have a little bit, you know, you have to clean it up, right? Um, and so, uh, yeah, so take that with a grain of salt. Um, and so in this lecture, I also describe paraphrase from my own point of view. I bullet point everything. So make it easy for you to read. Uh, the task for this um, week is going to be discussion five, journal entry five, quiz five, and essay two. Um, for discussion five, I would like to kind of like discuss. Obviously, this kind of idea, like writing how you talk, is controversial. You're gonna you're gonna find uh, you know uh, other websites that probably advise against that. And so I'd like you to discuss like the benefits of writing like you talk, but also the, the problems with that, right? Um, and journal five entry, basically take five sent key sentences in Paul Graham's essay and paraphrase them. So it's a paraphrasing essay. What is a key sentence? Well, a key sentence is something that is really important that you learn from this. So. <laughs> You know, you, I get you to, you have to choose what exactly those key sentences are. I'm going to let you decide, right? Um, for example, maybe a key sentence might be, informal language is the athletic, athletic language is, informal language is the athletic clothing of ideas. Um, you can paraphrase that into your own words, right? That's an important idea. Um, what else? Essay two. Essay two is basically you're gonna teach somebody some how to do something. You know, um, you know. I, obviously, I don't know what you can do. Um, don't make it like, you know. Some people have written how how to change a tire. I mean, I think that's kind of like too simple. Um. And not very interesting to me because I already know how to change a tire. Uh, so pick something that I would be interested in reading. Something I, I'm not sure, you know. Um, but I give you some ideas, you know, how to paint your apartment. I don't know if that's really an amazing college level idea. But surely, you know, painting your apartment is not easy. Like choosing to paint, you know, what do you do if... Uh, you don't remember what kind of paint you actually used. I don't know. I ran into this problem. Um, how to be a better friend? You know, it could be a process. Let's say you broke up with somebody. You said something wrong, and um, you want to get them back, or you want to. I don't know. Some some of these ideas. I don't know how great they are but please also use your creativity by choosing something um, that you can describe as a process right um, and please in your writing of the essay double space because it's easier it's something required in college okay it's a lot easier to to read uh, create a title uh, create a, a thesis statement that uses a full sentence okay so a full sentence is actually that uses a, a real verb um, like for example saying following my parents advice is not a full sentence a full sentence would be like I follow my parents advice to do something you know whatever so so make sure you you because if, if a real sentence just is just clear, right? And the whole purpose of writing essays or writing is really to for clear communication. 
you don't want to confuse the reader you know uh, time is very short right our time on this earth is very short imagine a college professor or any supervisor has tons of things to read right um, you know you don't want to be the person who basically makes them scratch their heads about like what what the heck am I reading here right you want to be the person who is sending a clear message and whatever it is you know email and stuff like that so so part of a uh, being clear uh, uh, is about um, you know not being pretentious or adding too many words to something it's it's a it's a it's a kind of a craft really it's 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 hard to describe how to do it but the more you do it um, the more feedback you get the better and that's another thing about feedback you know I, I give you guys pretty high grades right but I also decided that I'm gonna be as honest as I can with the little time that I have um, in my feedback so please do read the feedback and if something is unclear please um, you know send me an email and ask me about that anyway I don't want to make this too long um, and so I'm gonna conclude it to this and again if you have any questions um, I'm very willing to to help you but it has to be before an assignment so don't turn an assignment get my sort of feedback you don't like or something and then turn it again I I want to catch the problems before you actually turn in the assignment okay okay great uh, looking forward to reading your assignments and uh, good luck bye